Hey. 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 Hello. Yo, meow and if you can hear me. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hi guys. What's up? What's up? What are you up to? Should I switch to my face cam or do you guys hate me? Like, do you guys hate me? Be honest. Guys, do you hate me? Be honest. <laughs> um, someone said yes. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so you hate me. Okay, so yeah, you hate me. Do you guys want a face reveal? Yo, I hope that everyone had a Gangnam Style kind of day. I hope that your day made you feel like hitting a little Gangnam Style and going out on the town. Thank you for the 100 bits. When I type in Twitch, it auto corrects to twitch.tv slash piece of four. That's amazing, Coffee Cat. Coffee Cat, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> Purpled? I'm I'm live. Oh. Hello? Hello? My my Discord's hello? Oh, there it is. Hi. Hey, I'm live. Hi. Did you hear that goofy ass Discord I, Halloween I, remix? I did, yeah. What's up? I was just saying, hey, I, I was sitting over on my bed on my phone and I got a notification about Piso and I I genuinely like a cartoon. I sprung out of bed and Gave her, sat down over here at my desk. <laughs> like a little oh Scooby Doo run. Yeah, like I, like I literally, like I bounced a good, like a good, like twenty inches in the air and like walked over here. I don't I, think. I, I, yeah, that's. I mean, that's how everyone reacts to my to my going live notice usually. Yeah, there was like a little boing sound effect too. I was oh. like boing, and like I run over here and like, and, like a little like <laughs> like a little scooch, like a skirt sound effect. When I, uh huh. Okay, yeah. you just wanted to say hi. Yeah, yeah. No, he, I, I just wanted to say hi. That was a crazy ringtone. Yeah, it go, like, dude, the first time I heard it, like, I actually, like, hit the nastiest double take of my life. No, like, it what is this literally scared noise? me so bad. It scared me yeah. so bad. So, so bad. Like it, like, it is not a sound I'm familiar with randomly, like, just, like, I was, I think I was, like, editing one time, like, it randomly just hit me. I was like, what is this uh -huh. sound coming from my computer? Uh-huh. Well, I appreciate you checking in and running over to your computer. Um, yeah. Okay, well. Okay, bye, Piso. Bye, 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 bye. Hi chat, hi chat. Bye Piso. Bye Have purple. A good stream. Thank you. What a goofy guy. What a goofy little fella. Guys, um while you're here, you might as well say here if you're here because that's how we take attendance here. And if you're not if you don't say here, then you're going to be counted absent. And if you get absent, if you get counted absent, um I'm sorry. I I mean nothing really happens. Guys, if you say here, um Oh my gosh, this lemonade is literally so good. I literally need to stop drinking it though. Like I need to stop drinking the lemonade. Guys, have you had a good hollow weekend? Sorry, I mean like, I think that the, the concept of saying the word hollow weekend is cute, it's fun, but we have to, we have to admit that it is the tiniest bit millennial. That saying, happy hollow weekend. We do have to admit that that is a little bit millennial, right? But, you know, I, I, dig, I digress. I digress. Um, I don't know what that means. I just say it because I saw people say, say it. Did you guys watch Degrassi when you were younger? Because that I used to get ads for that. I used to get... Um, why is all this music crazy? Hey, Pice, so it's me again. It's all hugs for Ranboo's birthday today. Can you wish a mutual Max a happy birthday? Happy birthday, Three. Max. Chat, say happy birthday to Max. Happy birthday. Hope you have an amazing day and get lots of presents and because that's what a birthday is all about. Um, <laughs> that's what holidays are all about is presents. Guys, I, I don't I'm not a big fan of. OK, I like Halloween because like dressing up is like chill and stuff. But but like, OK, the thing about Halloween is that once you turn like 15, like they stop letting you trick or treat for some reason because we put an age limit on fun. Why do we put an age limit on fun? I don't know. That that makes me a little bit mad that I'm 18 and I can't trick or treat anymore. Which like technically I could, but like really, you're gonna see like my grown self going going trick or treating. Do you guys still trick or treat? Um, 
And not only that, the Geeky Kid, thank you so much for the resub, and thank you for starting a hype train. Guys, if you want to sub or gift subs, that'd be awesome. I am a pit bull and hot dog mix for Halloween. Guys, what were you for Halloween? Thank you for the 20 bits, peace of hour. If you still trick or treat, you know, savor it. That's amazing. Just trick or treat, who cares? I do. Piso, random story, but at TwitchCon, I saw you, and I was like, OMG, it's Piso, and my sister was like, who the hell is pizza? <laughs> Whatever. Hi, Mag. Right? Trick-or-treating is life. Trick-or-treating is life. Trick-or-treating is life. Trick or Wait, why is trick-or-treating low-key my life right now? I can't find a costume for Halloween. I went to, like, Halloween parties last night, like, little Halloween parties. I mean, it was fine. It's just, like, we, we as a society, need need more hollow why is it like classical music playing sorry i just had to hit that real quick peace of hour thanks for the resub thank you um you don't even like candy yeah like <laughs> dude it's it's kind of halloween also an another another issue I have with Halloween is that you have to have friends to celebrate it It's not a family holiday where you get set around like at least okay at least at Thanksgiving You know Thanksgiving might not be the best holiday because like, you know, you have to sit around with people that you kind of like kind of don't uh, AKA family But at least you're guaranteed like to have people to sit down with but like Halloween I'm not doing I I'm not doing anything. What do you think I'm gonna do? You think I'm gonna like have have friends and hang out with them? <laughs> That'd be crazy. I don't need friends. I have the fake scenarios in my head. Wait, let's get into what stream's gonna be today so you guys can submit stuff. Um, exclamation point form in chat. Submit the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you and I will read it out live in front of all of the people watching right now. Um, go to Florida, please. I'm moving close to Florida in like a month. So my friends are going to be there. So uh, my friends, I all, I all my friends are in Florida. So that'll be exciting. That'll be exciting. Yeah, submit. Do you guys have embarrassing stories? I think my most embarrassing story is, um, okay, okay, get this. All right, this is my most embarrassing story. One time um, in like 2020, I think, I, dec <laughs> it's so embarrassing. I decided that I was going to do this like, thing online where i like become a twitch streamer and it would like be and like try to be funny um and now i do it every day so there's my embarrassing story i'd love to hear yours you already submitted it awesome you have friends i mean kind of but they live far away thank you for the 100 bits leon phoenix thank you thank you thank you also if anyone wants to sub i don't think the form link is correct oh <gasps> did i not up that's the confession form guys guys oh no oh no oh no oh no this is the worst day of my life hold on hold on hold on chat um just ignore just what's well, what's going on okay wait look oh sorry there you go uh there's the form link there you go just ignore that anything ever happened ever um i um hold on let me fix the form link hold on stand by and, and why is the classical music playing it's actually crazy uh and just like that it's fixed yeah i'm a handyman i'm a handyman <gasps> handy manny he was hot can we talk about that real quick and you have to agree right you have to agree that Handy Manny was... Do you guys not think that Handy Manny was... What? You guys say no? He's 12? No, he's, he's a grown man. Handy Manny was a grown man, right? Thank you for the 100 bits, Leon Phoenix. Thank you. I like the tools. Okay, yeah, that hammer. That hammer was like... <laughs> yeah. I was I was blushing. I was kicking my feet. I I wanted to I wanted to be a nail. And then, okay, sorry. <sighs> he has a wife though. No, he doesn't. Does Handy Manny really have a wife? Man had a wife? Whatever, dude. Whatever. I don't want to talk about his stupid little wife. What if I'm his wife? I'm sorry for calling her a stupid little wife. 
I know that she's fictional, but that did still feel hateful, and I, I apologize. It was out of jealousy. Um, he's still on his wife arc. Maybe, maybe. Okay, do you guys want to read some stories? Did you guys XMH point form in chat? Submit a little embarrassing story. I'd love to read them. Um, also for Halloween, I'm gonna go with Thing Two. Look. And you might be asking, oh, who's thing one? What if I told you that I'm the only thing? That's the thing about me is that I'm the only thing. Who is thing one? I, wait, chat, can you be thing one? Please. This music's relaxing, dude. This music, Daisy is thing one. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love my little Daisy girlfriend. I'll be thing one. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm thing four. Piso four. Get it? Do you get because it's like because it's like my name. I'm gonna take these headphones off. Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> Sorry, I just remember the sides of my head exist. Um and I had to take a second to I I had to take a second to, you know, process it and remind myself that my head that my head exists. I could be the Grinch. I could be the next J Jim Carrey. That's my job. That's my Okay, let's start the stories. Let's start the stories. Um, okay. Okay, okay. The first time I went trick or treating, I ate a fortune cookie whole. First of all, who is giving out fortune cookie? I've never gotten a fortune cookie for Halloween. But like that's cool. I would love a fortune cookie for Halloween. Except the fortune cookies that I always get, like, what, what are, what are fortune cookies saying? Like, I, I open it and it's like, uh, you're awesome. Like, what? That says nothing about my future. Or it like says some quote that doesn't even make sense. You kind of look like you're itching to tell me a riddle, but you still look good. Um, that, I'm going to remember that one. Um, I'm actually, when is my next therapy appointment? Uh, okay. Uh, so I ate my paper. So I ate my fortune. You ate your whole fortune. Oh my gosh. You know what? That That's probably good because if you were to like read, like if you were to take that paper and you were to read it, you, it might be like really heavy and it might just be like a lot to take in like a lot to di digest you know um but i guess either way you digested it so good for you good for you good for you for taking your fortune into your own hands and then eating it you ate um i went to a funeral when i was six i told everyone i apologize because i wanted to sound fancy <laughs> no you know you just sound guilty I apologize. I, I'm genuinely so sorry that this happened. I really apo my apologies. My bad. No, I. <laughs> They're like, uh, what did the six-year-old do to Grandpa? <laughs> my apologies. So sorry. Um. <laughs> uh, hi, Miss May. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, let's keep on let's keep on going. I had a Charlie fan page. You know, that is not embarrassing. I love Charlie D'Amelio. Where'd you get your shirt from? I I I uh I got it from the thrift store. I don't know why I'm struggling with words all of a sudden. Lucky, I had a Zoe fan page. Oh. Uh, opinions on her song? I haven't listened to her song. I don't know. Are we not? Are we not Charlie stands? Wait, people are saying you. Are you saying you to? Are we? Are you saying you to Charlie or you to Zoe? Do you guys like Charlie? I'm sorry, but I feel like Charlie's overrated. Wait, why don't you guys like Charlie? I think that Charlie is. Okay, people saying that she's overrated or people saying that she lacks talent or whatever. First of all, that girl can dance. 
can dance. Also, you know what's talent? You know what's talent? What's talent is being instantly in like a matter of two weeks becoming the biggest internet celebrity and not losing your mind. That is talent. Also, she is a very sweet, like genuine, like real good role model for like younger people. And so like, I would rather Charlie D'Amelio be like the biggest creator for like younger people than like a lot of other people that have been in the past. You know what I'm saying? She's just like, she's genuine, she's sweet, she sticks to her brand. Um, well, you've met her and we're BFFs. I forgot about that. And we're BFFs. <laughs> so, um, hold on. I also, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't imagine having all of the pressure in the world that Charlie has in her life. Hold on, let me find, let me find my, let me find one of my pictures with Charlie. Notice I say one of them because we're like BFFs and like we hang out all the time and this is us. Now look at that. That is a real photo, by the way. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, wait, did you guys not know that I met Charlie? That was, uh, that was last year. Dude, that is like, she looks so good in that photo. Like, actually, also, here's me and, um, Mark D'Amelio, her, her father. Um, Dixie wasn't there. I guess she missed the memo. Um, how'd you guys meet her? Um, we met her because we're BFFs and we're friends and we have each other on Be Real. I'm lying. What if, what if though? Dude, that's my goal. That's like, that's my goal with content creation is to, to add Charlie on Be Real. Charlie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real and you're gonna see it. <laughs> that sounded threatening. I, I just want to add you on Be Real. Uh, Charlie, please don't fear me. All right. I tripped during the pacer test and ran into the locker room and cried. Okay, but what was your score? Because that's what really matters. Wait, do they let you like have Heelys at the pacer test? I, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Imagine your B-reel goes off during the pacer test. Also, wait, what was everyone's B or what was everyone's what was everyone's pacer test score? Because I kind of ate up the pacer test. My highest score was like 18. You know, that's real. Peace of hour, that's awesome. The pacer test is my villain origin story. Me too. But like, but like a good villain origin story. Like I'm like rubbing my hands together like this and like petting a little cat. Bro, I got 77. I'm just better. Oh my gosh. Okay, 137. All right, well, I got 300, so I got three. I got 300 on the pacer test. That's literally a lie. That's a that's a big lie. Thank you for the five gifted. Oh my gosh, Layla, thank you so much. Thank you for the five gifted and peaceful hour. Thank you for the 30 bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it a ton. Um, okay. I posted a horrible Minecraft murder mystery video on YouTube, and OMG, it was bad. I made the cringiest jokes. I I was looking for like stream ideas today and so I was like, oh, let me go on my VOD channel. And I was reminded that I've ex that I exist in 2021. That like that like me trying to be funny a year ago. <sighs> I like okay. I think that in like I think that in hell it's just like they sit me down and they strap me to a chair and they're like watch your old VODs. It's so bad, dude. It's so bad. And I know I'm going to cringe at this one, too, and be like, oh, I was trying so hard to be funny. But, like, at least I was cute while trying. You know what I'm saying? Um, Pacer test equals bleep test? Guys, if you're European, it's the bleep test. The bleep test? Do they censor the word pacer? And they're like, oh, yeah, have you taken the test yet? Okay, as a kid, I thought I was straight. <laughs> yeah, me too. That wasn't just as a kid. That was till like sophomore year. I watch your VOD channel to fall asleep. Wow. My VOD channel keeps me up at night. So we are very much not the same. 
Um, oh, it's the beep test, not the bleep test. <laughs> a bleep is different than a beep. One time I fell face first down the stairs in school and almost everyone laughed at me, even the teacher. I I knew a girl who like in, in high school, she fell down the stairs and um, her mom worked at the school and like went to the security cameras and pulled up the footage. In Canada. Really, Woozy Carl? Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. Um, like pulled up the security camera footage and we all got to like watch her fall down the stairs. One time I fell, okay. Um, in fourth grade, I gathered, you know what? Okay, you know what my most embarrassing story is? My most embarrassing story is that we had meme day at our school and I dressed up as a vine. That could like, that could make me cry thinking about that. Which one? Uh, it was... I th I think this was so long ago. This was so long ago. But I think it was I think it was Uvu Javer. Cause all I had to do was like paint some like or just tape something to my shirt. Um Yeah, but like everyone dressed up as one and I took a bunch of videos of everyone and then like put it together in like a compilation and like posted it on YouTube. <laughs> In fourth grade, I gathered the whole class around to show them I could do the the work. The work? Oh, like the... Okay. And when I went down on my stomach, I actually farted really loud and then tried to blame it on my foot kicking the projector. <laughs> do you... Like, what is a foot kicking... How does a foot kicking a projector sound like a fart? That's my question. That's my cue of the day. Um, That's tragic, though. That's your fault for gathering everyone around to, to try to show off that you can do the work. <laughs> uh, do you guys remember when like teachers would be like do demonstrations and you'd have to like gather around the table for them to like, like cut out like a heart out of a, like a piece of paper, like the most basic craft demonstration. And they would take like 45 minutes to like do a tiny little craft and you'd be and you never I never got a seat there was no way I ever got a seat and so I just like I'd like be standing there like bored out of my mind and like the teacher just eats up the little like the teacher just loves being a DIY YouTube channel that's why the teacher keeps like cutting it up and I, oh my gosh um there's a bathroom that my family doesn't really use a lot uh, wait, doesn't really use, so I use it a lot. And just, we just got kittens, so all their stuff is in there. My mom put up a camera in there, and I didn't know to watch the cat. She watched me do you know what. No, I don't know what. Use the bathroom? This is like that one, like, do you remember when Shane Dawson had us convinced that, like, everything in the world was a camera? Like, Shane Dawson's conspiracy theory videos never really made me be like, oh, whoa, this is crazy. It just made me have severe anxiety about, like, I, like it just intensified my anxiety about the situation, like, about everything around me. You know what I'm talking about? You guys remember that Shane Dawson video? Oh, my gosh. Um, who actually watched Shane Dawson? I think, like, gay people around my age. <laughs> um... Last year, my friend told me he liked me, but I did not like him back, so I ran away, and my friend saw and said he chased after me like a bear. Like, on all fours? Aw, oh, but then if you guys date, you could be like, all right, bear with me. <laughs> Why are there sirens? Do you guys hear sirens outside of my house right now? Oh? The police did not like that joke. I'm so sorry. Could you guys hear that? Ew, I I was obsessed with minions when I was younger. I had a minion iPod touch case, and I also had a minion book, which would teach you how to speak like a minion. And instead of, you know, learning a useful second language, I learned how to speak minionese, I think it was called. Minion, min, I don't know if that was what it was called, but that is so embarrassing. And I would, I had a minion bathroom, and I would sing minion songs at, um, like at recess. Like there was like the minion like lullaby and it like I memorized all the lyrics and then I also used to think that going Beedo Beedo was like the funniest thing ever. You had that book? 
That's awesome. I got it from the book fair. Dude, the book fair is a scam. I was playing field hockey goalie and I went to kick the ball and it went under my foot and scored. I was so embarrassed. I like can't do sports where like there are a bunch of people watching and like there's pressure on me. Like I, I genuinely would not be able to cut recover. Like I just like be profusely apologizing to everyone around me. Um, I had a YouTube channel when I was younger and years later, my mom found it. I, okay. You know how like when, when we were all like really young, we were all trying to get famous on the internet. I don't know if that, maybe that's just like a me thing. But like when I was really young, I was trying to get famous. I am so thankful that it never worked. <laughs> Cause could you imagine if that worked? Could you imagine if I blew up at the age of whatever it was doing whatever I was doing? Like making little Mashi monster videos or like, ew, ew. Like if that blew up, I would never be the same. I. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. When I was younger, I was at a meal with my, with family and friends and me and my dad went to get drinks for people, but I had to go back and ask what someone wanted. When I went back to the bar, I held what I thought was my dad's hand. Okay. You said when I was younger, I was like, I didn't realize that like, I mean, if you hold your parents' hand, that's just not a relationship that I have with my parents. Okay, let's not get into that. Um, I was thought it was my dad's hand, and it ended up being a random man's hand. I've never been this. I have never been the restaurant since. Well, it's a good thing that you aren't a restaurant and that you're still a human after that. Um, yeah, I feel like I did this a lot. I would go up to people that I thought were my mom and start talking to them and like, like pulling on them and be like, "Mom, mom," and like it would just be some random some random person with like the, the same like little Karen haircut you know it's I I also okay the car like I did you guys ever get into a car that wasn't yours have you ever broken into a not broken in but like accidentally gone into a car that you thought was yours or your family's in the parking lot and it looks just like it you've never done that wait okay chat have you done that please 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 OMG, yeah, my mom did that at the mall. No, I literally have done that. I've done that all the time. My aunts once accidentally stole a car. What? Did the key work? What, what do you mean she stole a car? How do you accidentally steal a... Oh, oops. How do... What? How do you accidentally steal a car? That's like me in court when I like commit a crime. Mm, I accidentally stole a car. Oops. I was being random. <laughs> Imagine I'm at the stand and I was like, uh, your honor? I was simply being random. <laughs> Do you think they'd let me go? Uh, your honor? I may have crashed into a bank with my car, but I was just being random. I was trying to be derpy at the bank, and if you can't accept that, then I guess you aren't invi invited tonight where we're watching Netflix and eating pizza. We're eating pizza. I think we need to bring back derp humor. We need it so bad. Have you guys seen those videos that, like, it's kind of a recent-ish trend, or, like, it's just one account doing it where they do, like, try not to cringe challenge? You know what I'm saying? Where they're like, they're like, if the, if we cringe, the video ends. And then they're like, Chrissy, wake up. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I think I should like be in that. Like, can they invite me to the next one? Because I could literally do those. I could literally do that. I would be so good. I thought that's what we were doing watching your streams. I was gonna make that joke, but you beat me to it. Now I feel like a loser. I'm just gonna keep on reading the stories. I was asked a question in maths. Oh, I was asked a question. <coughs> Hi, love. I'm 
Shut up. I w Hi, love. I was asked a question in maths, and I was daydreaming, and I ended up saying, Carl Jacobs. I cried when I got home, and I got detention. What? No, you didn't. No, and then everyone clapped, right? You got you got detention for saying Carl Jacobs in math? Okay, wait. Actually deserved. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your teacher? Because, uh... I... I <laughs> I was this is the funniest this is the funniest story I've ever read. I was asked a question in mass and I was daydreaming and I ended up saying Carl Jacobs. I cried when I got home and I got detention two hours after school. No, because this has happened to everyone though, right? Wait, this is a universal experience. I bet the teacher was called Mrs. Jacobs. I bet the teacher <laughs> And then I don't know what I'm saying. Um, the teacher was a Carl anti. Yeah, the teacher was me. I'm the teacher. Um, this is literally a. If they got two hours after school, I just I just don't. I think that you did something else, and you're blaming it on this. I think that you did something else to get detention, because there's no way you got two hours in school for saying Carl Jacobs. Or maybe it's like where they ban Pokemon cards in school. You know when they like ban Pokemon cards in school, or like ban like silly bands or fidget spinners. Maybe they banned the Dream SMP. I could see that happening though. Like schools go crazy with banning stuff like that. What, what, like, weird thing did your school ban? We, we weren't allowed to have Pokemon cards. We weren't allowed to have Beyblade. We weren't allowed to have... I don't know. We weren't... I don't know. We weren't allowed to have anything. Hats? Yeah, I mean, hats, obviously. They banned bottle flipping. I remember that. I remember that. Except, okay, my school had a bottle flipping protest. We all, like, a bunch of people got together and flipped their bottles at the same time during lunch. And it was on, like, a big, like, a big ledge so that you couldn't get up to. And they flipped them all on top of there. It was crazy. They banned the whip and nay nay? What if we do a stream where it was, like, what was your school's scandal? You know what I'm saying? Like, your what was your school's big scandal? Have we done that? That'd be fun, actually. In one of my classes, we couldn't say Walmart. Didn't we do that? Maybe we did, Mag. I don't remember. Have we done that before? They banned pronouns? <laughs> you have to address everyone by their name. Okay. Um... Rubik's cubes. <laughs> I don't. I, your school banned balloons. Um. We weren't allowed to say slay. What? They banned sweatpants. I forgot everything about high school. Me too. Actually, same. Actually, me too. I. I am so. Do you guys? Okay. Maybe this is just a me thing. But do you guys like not remember your life at all? Like, I don't remember anything ever. Like, I, I, I wish that I could be... I, I could have so many good things to talk about if I could just remember one single thing about my entire life. But instead, I just go through the same day over and over. And, okay, not to, like, get... Like, okay, this isn't... Not me airing out, like, my problems on stream. But, like, I don't remember anything. And then, like... I, I, and then I kind of do, but the, the only thing that I remember is like all of the little niche videos on the internet that I love. Like, I can remember, like, I can, I can do an impression of the entire Imagine celebrity cover, uh, like that they did during COVID on Good Morning America. Anyone remember that? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Please say you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next, the next, uh, story. <laughs> And no religion too. No hell below us, above us only sky. 
<laughs> Do you, does anyone know what I'm talking about? Please, 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 please say that you know the celebrity cover of Imagine. Imagine all the people living for today. How? I have to sh okay I'll show it after one story do you guys want to watch it it's like it's like a minute video we'll watch it um as a kid I thought the world stopped when I slept and started again when I woke up I mean you have no idea if it did wait the one on Jimmy Fallon it, Jimmy Fallon was in it the Millie Bobby Brown one no that's let's go back to Indiana circa 1983 um okay when I was little, I went to the beach and had to go to the bathroom, but there weren't any nearby and the ocean was too far. So I peed in the sand. The ocean couldn't have been that far. L right? I mean, like, that's the whole point of a beach, right? Is, is, is for the ocean to be there? Just for boys in the basement chilling, playing D. Okay, do you guys want to watch this video that I'm talking about? Because it, it genuinely is like a, it's a pop culture moment that is my favorite pop culture moment in the world. Let me find it. We're, okay, stand by for like a minute. We're going to take a little, we're going to take a break to watch this video. Um, If you need to get a snack or need to get some water or anything, do it while you listen to this beautiful cover of Imagine by all of these celebrities. I literally love this video so much. I love this video so much. Okay, wait. Are all of my tabs chill? Okay. Um, 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 Oh. Let's get a... There we go. Uncrop. Okay, so this is what... I, I'd like to give some context for this, okay? And then we'll go back to the embarrassing stories, I promise, all right? I know people are itching to have their stories read, and I, I understand. Uh, meanwhile, I'm itching to tell you a riddle, apparently. Okay, let me tell you some Let me tell you some good old context, all right? Um, eyes and ears, everyone listen up. Everyone listen. This is, a, this is a cultural education moment, and if you don't get it, you're going to miss it, all right? Um, basically, what's the video I want? Basically, when COVID was really bad and everyone was quarantined, Good Morning America, I think it was Good Morning America, put together this video where they were like, celebrities come together in this emotional, moving video to sing the, uh, the uh, Imagine by John Lennon. And it lifts, it touches the hearts, which is so out of touch. It's so out of touch because all of these celebrities weren't, you know, losing their jobs and were so comfortable in their, you know, giant mansions and stuff like this, where there were actual, it just, it just feels tone deaf. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> so without further ado, let me introduce you to the best video on the internet. Easy if you try. No hell below us. Above us only sky. Imagine all the people living for today. Yeah. Imagine there's no countries yet. It isn't hard to do. <laughs> Jimmy. Nothing to kill or die for. <laughs> and no religion to <laughs> imagine all the people living. Why'd she switch camera angles? You may say that I'm a dreamer. But I am not the only one. Come on, chat, get your candles I hope out. Someday you will join us. And the world will live as one. Imagine no possessions. I wonder if you care. <gasps> who are you? I don't no know who you are. For greed and hunger. Brotherhood of Is well is Will Ferrell okay? Hunger, brotherhood of man <laughs> Sharing all the world <laughs> You They may say that I'm a 
dreamer. But I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us. And the world will be as one. Oh, wait, they did that. Wait, can we get some drinks in chat? Because they really just, they just solved all of the world's problems. Let's get some cheers for them, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, celebrities. My favorite is either the step in touch. Uh, this one is so good. Ooh, they say that I'm a dreamer. But I'm <laughs> or I like, um... And no religion too. Where is it? Here. This is the this is the best part here. Do it goes from Jimmy to whoever these people are. Oh, yeah. It isn't it's hard, hard to, to do. Nothing, nothing to kill or die for. And no, and no religion too. Imagine you know all the people living for today you I, I have the whole thing memorized okay sorry we'll get back to the point of the stream but was that worth it was that was that worth the detour i'm sorry i really am but we did need to watch that and you know you know we needed to watch that that was eddie benjamin maddie ziegler's boyfriend it's so random, dude. Did like some did Good Morning America like pay for cameos from all of these people or something? I and they really thought that they like were gonna bring like it's like when Ellen released that video where she was like whatever, whatever. I won't even get into all of that. I just have opinions. <sighs> There's a time and place. Okay. Back to the awkward stories. I was talking to the guy I like, and midway through our conversation, I passed out. Can we, can, can you guys clean in chat? I need that out of my brain now. That is my, if you ever want to know, that's my favorite, uh, that's my favorite video on the internet, just so you know. Um, wait, do we not have the clean emote? Where's the clean emote? Chat? Where's the clean emote? No! Why are we so dirty in chat today? It works for me. We literally do have it, I promise. Then why isn't it showing up here? Why is my BTTV not showing up on my chat? Sorry, guys. My devil... Devil? I meant wolf. My, my wolf side came out. I could be your angle. I could be your devil. I could be anything you like. That's like a song that Liv and Maddie would sing. <laughs> Dove Cameron. I could be your angle. I could be your devil. I could be anything you like. I could be helpful. I could be evil. I could be the training wheels on your bike. See? Wait, I see your PSO4 sign. Yeah, that's from my meet and greet that I had at TwitchCon. Remember when I had a meet and greet? That's the biggest accomplishment of my life. Good for me, dude. Good for me for having a meet and greet. Oh my gosh. What? What? Did you take her Twitch rival sign? Yeah, it's like up on a shelf. You can't see it. All right. That meet and greet was so fun. <laughs> Mag. <laughs> Mag, our, our interaction is <laughs> actually so funny. So, so funny. Okay. Uh, I was talking to the guy I like, and midway through our conversation, I passed out for like a minute and fell on top of him. Now it's really awkward when we see each other. No, that is a heart stopper moment, and you know it. Like, imagine if Charlie passed out onto Nick. And then Nick would be like, Oh! Oh, Charlie! Ouch, Charlie! Charlie! Ouch! Ouch, Charlie! Charlie bit me! You know what I'm saying? Piso Young Royals season two comes out in two days. I've never seen Young Royals. And that is the straightest thing about me. Actually, the straightest thing about me is probably my basketball skills. You guys don't know, but I genuinely am so good at basketball. Like actually so good. Like I've played against like basketball players at my school and I am so good. Like that is such an unpredictable thing about me. And you know how unpredictable it is? It's so unpredictable that I just lied. I just lied. Um, I, I literally just lied for fun because I wanted to pretend to be good at something. 
Next one. In like second grade, I wanted to go to the bathroom so badly. <laughs> Um, but we were outside and I, I don't know why that made me laugh. I think it was the fact that you said I wanted to go to the bathroom, not that you had to go to the bathroom. It's like, uh, I kind of, I kind of just want to go. Okay. It's not even funny. Like why? Okay. But we were outside and I was scared to ask. So I had an accident, but I blamed it on the birds, but they knew it was me. Yeah. Birds don't bur Blamed it on the birds. You had an accident in your pants and you were like, oh, sorry. The birds. What? <laughs> I don't like gay romance movies or shows anyway. Ooh. Why is that? Could you could you justify your could you back up your opinion? Cuz that was a sus thing to say, Zed. I can't lie. Zed, what Zed, what's up? What's up with the you don't like the you don't like the gay the gay media? Uh Zed, that was a little sus of you to not like queer representation in media. But it was the birds. Birds aren't real. Oh, one time in third grade, we were doing a running test and I was so close to finishing it and I tripped in front of my entire class. You know, if that's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you, I'm glad you've lived a, a nice little life. One time when I was like 11, I decided to get into one of those swings for babies. The ones that look like diapers. I guess they do kind of look like diapers because it, it, I thought it would be funny. Long story short, I was way too old, obviously, and got stuck. My mom tried to pull me out, and so she had to get this random... Or my mom couldn't pull me out, so she had to get this random guy to do it. It was so embarrassing. I definitely learned my lesson. I mean, it's better than, like, having to call the cops. I would never recover. Ah, uh, could you imagine if you were sitting in your little baby swing and the cops came over and had to pull you out? I'm really, really gay, but I don't know. I just were never really enjoyed them. Nothing much to it. Okay, Zed, that checks out. <laughs> just making sure. Just just had me raising an eyebrow or two. I, if you get stuck in a baby swing, I'm sorry. I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you in that baby swing. If you got yourself in there, you need to know how to get yourself out. Uh, many things, but one of the most recent, a year ago, a girl wanted to kiss me, so I got to her c to cover her eyes and ears, then ran away. A girl wanted to kiss me, so I got her to cover her eyes and ears, then ran away? No! You'd be like, yeah, just just plug your ears and close your eyes, and I'll lean in. Count to 20, alright? Count to 20 at the end of the counting. That is so... Messed up, but clever. That's like a Disney Channel. That's like a Disney Channel. Are you in a Disney Channel show? I made a cringy video about my crush, then proceeded to show it to him. I, it just sounds like both things sound like your fault. <laughs> did, it, did anyone else like never have a childhood kiss? I didn't. I didn't either. Yeah, even when I was like, even when I was in like kindergarten, I couldn't get game. Like, ugh. and okay, here's the thing. Um, any gay men in chat? Gay men in chat, where you at? Um, gay men in chat, when you were younger, were you, were you, uh, were you told that you were like such a ladies man? You're like, oh, he is such a ladies man. He's, oh wow, like he really is with the, he's really good with the ladies. He's really good at being with the, but no, like I'm a ladies man because these, these, these women feel comfortable around me. <laughs> um that's why it's not that I, it's not that we're into each other like even isn't it crazy that like heterosexuality i said that with some rhythm heterosexuality isn't it crazy that heterosexuality is like forced upon us like from when we are like actual like toddlers like i will be a toddler hanging out with a girl toddler and people will be like oh ladies man oh and i'm like why are you talking like that like i can't even understand what you're saying um that's just crazy that's like ugh. also also i will see literal toddlers i will see literal toddlers like five-year-old children 
on TikTok doing a little dance and they have a little flair. They have a little like they have some they're good at dancing and all the comments are like, oh, bro's fruity. No, bro is five. Bro is five years old. Bro doesn't even know what the word sexuality means. Like you are you are weird and you are not an ally if you are commenting on videos of like of anyone acting a certain way and being like, "Ooh, fruity. Oh, you're fruit. Oh, you're Oh, why are you little painting nail emoji? What? Like they can barely walk. <laughs> like <laughs> It's uh, that's so cr that's so crazy to me. It's so bizarre. Okay. My science teacher asked the class if someone could do him a favor without telling us what it was. And because I'm a decent human, uh, oh hi Raiders by the way. Uh, and because I'm a decent human, I raised my hand. Um, he chose me, and so I walk down to the office and say, "Okay, I'm here to grab something for Mister underscore 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 underscore." tragic last name by the way um i'm not sure what it is though and the office lady hands me a bag of live crickets i walk back to the class and everyone laughs at me i hate crickets now i <laughs> why is he a little nail painting emoji him baby emoji that was good thank you that like simplified the, f the joke format for my brain i appreciate it thank you for translating it into for mr carl jacobs don't say that name in school Guys, one t guys, one time I said uh, the name Carl Jacobs in class and they picked me up by my ankles and swung me around eight times and then I crashed through the window and out onto the street. Piso, your nails are so cute. Thank you. I didn't do anything to him. Are you okay? No. Say it three times in a mirror and he pops up behind you. I believe it. Aw. Yeah, it was a bit of a wholesome moment. It was. It really was a wholesome moment. Piso, where are your nails? I have nails, chat. I don't want to show them up close because they're probably like freaking... I'm, I'm an anxious person. If that, ex if that explains anything. Okay. Um, oh, I'll, I'll tell a little story. Uh, one time I had to go get something for a science teacher and it was boxes of clams and they were leaking on me. Nice, nice BTTV. Um, there, why is there no BTTV on my freaking... Guys, can you try out some BTTV? Why is it not showing up on my... <laughs> on my stream elements. Um, yeah. There were clams all over me. Emote fail! <laughs> okay, there's a Keck W. Is it just the animated emotes? Mod check? It's just the it's just the animated. Yo, Bren Brenster, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, if anyone wants to sub, um, my subs over the weekend... Dropped by 100. Um, which is just not vibes. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. Like it's it's fine if it's fine if they drop. I just like you guys are in trouble and um, I'm gonna take away your phones. When's the Patreon, dude? I I've just got done being sick, so like I will work on it. I promise. And I also am gonna film a video about Rebecca Zamolo soon. Uh, I just need to like write a little script Trinity K9. Thank you so much for the resub I think that's what my next video is gonna be is Rebecca Zamolo. So if you guys love Rebecca, that's that's the next one It's gonna be called like um, The most intense kids channel or something like that Yeah, Penny. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you guys get your resubs in come on. Come on This is like investing in stock <laughs> what did you finish that zombies video no because i wrote the script and then i started editing it and i was like "Ooh, why i was like "Ooh, why the thing is with youtube videos i watch it back and i'm like ew i'm trying to be funny that's so cringe <laughs> um so yeah how was your halloween if you had yours yet i did have mine i 
It was fun. It was good. Bryn, 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 Brinster. Brinny Brinster. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, when did you get the Minecraft lamp behind you? Like, so long ago, dude. So long. Um, okay. Next. I vomited in a doorway in Saturday music school when I was six and three people slipped in it and they had to block off that doorway. And then also someone dropped their music and it got taken away by staff. And I'm not sure that that guy got their music back. Why did people throw up so much when we were younger? When you watch your own jokes back a hundred times, they get so unfunny. No, literally. And so I'll like, I'll start, I'll write the script. I'll be like, this is the funniest thing I've ever written. And by the end, like once I'm editing it, that's why I can't edit my own videos. Cause if I edit my own videos, I'm like, this is the, uh, this is the most unfunny thing that I've ever made in my life. And that's why nothing ever gets posted on my channel. I let my perfectionism consume my life. And it's awesome. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty pog. Okay. Um, thank you for the hundred bits coffee cat. Um, do you have an editor? I, I did. And then my old editor like doesn't is like, has like a full-time job now, which like, okay, fine. Like if you hate me, just say, so. I'm just kidding. I, I love my full-time editor. We're like still like best friends. And when I went to LA, I got, oh my gosh. I literally, I love my editor so much. I got to like meet with them again and we hang out all the time. I literally love my editor, but I have a new one now, but they haven't edited a video for me because, okay. Let me put this thing into perspective for you, okay? Imagine you record yourself trying so, so desperately hard to be so as funny as you can for two hours. And then you send that raw footage of you repeating the same sentences over and over, you repeating the same jokes, trying to get better delivery, trying to get the right angle, trying to get the right delivery, trying to be as funny as possible. You send that two hours of footage to a stranger on the internet. Like, I think I could, I think that, like, literally could, oh my gosh. It's so scary. It's so scary. It's like, anyway, guys, what would you do if I died? Okay, like I said, I actually wore PJs to school on accident because I thought it was PJ day, but it was supposed to be the next day. I sat outside the classroom crying because I was embarrassed. That happened to me too. Um... I laugh then cry then unsub. Piso jig on your grave. Okay, you hit that piso jig on my grave. <laughs> piso jigs in chat. Um, no, I wore pajamas to school when it wasn't pajama day and then i went to the nurse to change into different clothes because i was so embarrassed but then i carried in a i carried a little walmart bag of my clothes around school all day so everyone just thought i peed myself so which one was worse wearing pajamas to school and by the way they were footy pajamas with spaceships on them so it wasn't vibes anyway um P guys while i while i go to the bathroom we're gonna cosplay that I died. Okay? So just like pretend like just like while I'm just like while I'm at the bathroom, just pretend like I'm dead. Hold on, here. So answer, yes. Are you in the Dream SMP? I don't know why I asked, but are you? No, I'm dead. Hi, leans on Lightning McQueen car. Shut up. Where did you get your sweater? I'm dead. Leave a comment if you want to be featured in the next video. Follow my Twitch. Oh my gosh, that literally made me like tear up. All the tears are gone, by the way, immediately. It was that fast, I recovered.
<laughs> I can't lie, like the most mucus in the world just like went into my mouth and so I just spit it in my trash can. Like I'm literally still dying from like being sick. So just like it's uh, maybe 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 I will need to use that video. Um that's why <laughs> that's why I had to wait and mute. <laughs> Sorry. That was TMI, but guys we stand a transparent king. Maybe I should be dead again. Goodbye. Kidding. Um, <laughs> did you guys like it? Did you guys like the video? That's from a while ago. That's from a stream I did a long time ago. I spent like so much time planning this funeral stream where I had a fake body back here. Okay, this is what happened in the funeral stream. I don't know if you guys were there. Were you guys there for the funeral stream? I, I had a fake, I had a fake body of myself. I pretended to be my like ex-husband. I like dressed up and pretended to be my ex-husband, right? And then like, there was a time where like, there was like, I was hoping to be included in the will and then I wasn't included in the will and so then I picked up my dead body. Dude, this was crazy. This was a crazy stream. I'm being serious. This happened. I picked up my dead body from here, lifted it up and was going to go bury it, but then my dead body t attacked me, threw me to the ground, and while I was thrown to the ground, on the ground, I had a costume change and then came up as myself risen from the dead and I killed my ex-husband and buried him instead because it was all to prove a lesson to him that he was not going to be in my will. It was a crazy stream and no one was there. Not everyone like I, 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 there was like a big stream happening on like happening in the community at the same exact time that I organized that stream that had like a script and lore and like so much different stuff. I genuinely like oh my gosh like it was literally like yeah it was my reputation Taylor Swift era and it was so good. It was so good. It was insane. I was there. Awesome. Do it again. Maybe. I, I I want to do like scripted streams again, like with like lore and stuff. I think it's so fun. I mean, like if you were here for Cooper lore, you remember that? Should I should I have should I bring lore back? Like, it's just so fun. It must have been so cool. No, it was so cool. And like people people were there. Like, I don't know. People people weren't there. Was the issue? That was the ish. Okay, let's keep going. In 2020, I was a Visco girl. Weren't Visco Girls a thing in 2019? <laughs> did you, did any of you chat in 2020? Did any of you paint your cow, your cow or your door as a cow print? Cause that's, that's tragic. <laughs> I don't know what I did in quarantine. I knew I like the first day I hung up a hammock in my house. And it was awesome. Um, I did not paint my cow. Did I say cow? Whatever. You knew what I meant. Hi, I don't usually do pickup lines because I'm not trying to pick you up. I'm just trying to pin you down. Crazy first message. Crazy first message in my chat. Crazy, actually crazy first message in my chat. Um, welcome to the stream. You know, you know what the best way to my heart is? I'll tell you. The best way to my heart is gifted subs. If you really, if you really want to prove how much you want me, go ahead. <laughs> See, why ban when I can... Okay. You know, okay, whatever. Let's go, let's keep going. <laughs> um, at my band concert, I fell off the stage. This was last week. I still have a bruised leg. At, okay, band concerts for me. By the way, I was first chair clarinet. I was the best clarinet, and then I quit freshman year, and they begged me to stay. Band, they try to get you to stay in that thing for forever. I don't know if you guys have, like, certain extracurriculars that, like, once you're in, you have to pull yourself out of it in order to leave. Like, and, like, they're trying to hold on to you. Like, hold on to you. Yo, what, what instrument were you all in band, or are you in band? Like... I tried to leave band and also trying to leave swimming was the both of those were so crazy. Okay. Hopefully 
my swim coaches don't see this, but this is what happened when I went to quit swimming, okay? I had been swimming for 10 years, 10 years. And then I started doing theater and I really wanted to like keep doing theater and pursuing it, but swimming was really draining and doing both were really draining. And I was really focused on academics as well. Um, Cause I'm a nerd, right? Um, I decided that I was gonna quit swimming, all right? And I told them, I was like, hey, just so you know, like after this summer, like I think I'm gonna be done. Like I'm gonna be done. The next week, we had a meeting and they sat everyone down on the swim team and the coach told us how burnout isn't a real thing and how you're just giving up because you're lazy and don't want to work hard and they didn't say it they weren't they didn't mention my name ever but they just did this whole thing like they, he, he, they just like gave a speech like a talk to all of us about how like when you want to quit like it's not real like like trying to gaslight me into staying and make me feel so bad and then like i would always be sent like okay like i shouldn't air out all of these problems on stream whatever it'll come back to me in a while i'm moving out of my home state in a year i meant in a month so like i can start telling these stories that's the exciting thing you guys don't realize how many things i've been sitting on What if that was the whole sentence? You guys don't realize how many stories I've been sitting on since, like, because I'm still in my home uh, hometown. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's 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 real. One time, I was full out dancing to Taylor Swift, and my grandpa walked in. Tell your grandpa to shake it off. I need a grandpa who's gonna shake it off with me. That's what I need. You know? Um, I need to be like, yo, grandpa, that's sick. Um, and like, be like, this is awesome. And like, shake it off with my grandpa. Uh, but you can't always get what you want. The other day I went to an acapella concert. <laughs> That's that was a crazy thing that I did. I need my grandpa to do the bejeweled dance with me. Um, yeah, I went to an acapella concert. Guys, no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I have to tell you this. Okay, the other day I went to an acapella concert. Right? It was a bunch of different teams, like in acapella, like all at the same place. Right? You, P P so you keep going off track. Welcome to my streams. Um, <laughs> I went to the acapella concert. And then afterwards, they were like, oh, yeah, we're, there's like a there. My friend was like, oh, yeah, there's like a like little bonfire get together at this house. The bonfire get together was with every single all of the freaking like 10 acapella teams. Pitch perfect. I was like, is there going to be a riff off? So, yeah, I went to a little party with a with, I went to a pitch perfect party, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um Guys, who are you in Pitch Perfect? I was playing tag and someone tagged me so hard that I fell flat on my face and on concrete and my mouth was bleeding. I don't know if that, like, is that embarrassing or is that, ow, ow, ew, I just thought about getting, like, people getting hurt at recess. That happened all the time. I, like, that, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. I was at a birthday party and while we were eating, they put on music and the, I've, sometimes I forget how to read. I was at a birthday party and while we were eating, they put on music and then the song Let It Go came on and then I screamed, screeched, I know that song. And everyone looked at me and I went to the bathroom and cried. Oh, and, le and then let me guess, you said Carl Jacobs and got detention, whatever. <laughs> you can't always get what you want. I wanna have a pitch perfect party where everyone dresses up as the characters and we all sing. <gasps> I want to do a riff off. Do you think that I could get streamers to do a riff off with me? That'd be fun. So I was sitting in class and I was talking to a person I like and drinking water and they kept making me laugh a lot and I had water in my mouth and I sprayed it all over them. Like all over, like a lot of water and then we just, okay, I get it. And then we just sat there in silence staring at each other. And then they said, are you Carl Jacobs? And then they got two hours of detention. I like, I really enjoy it. I think that that universe that, I don't know, whatever universe you live in, these, that person is living in where they get in two hours of detention <laughs> from saying the name Carl Jacobs is still so funny to me. Um, okay, but imagine you do Pitch Perfect riff off, but it's like, 
Imagine all the people ho oh, oh, living for today. Yo -ho -ho. Um, okay. When I was in elementary school, me and my friends were playing jump rope and me and this one person both ran up to twirl the jump rope and they ran into each other and we both fell in front of everyone. And this older kid came and picked me up and brought me to the bench to sit on the rest of the recess as I sat there crying. An older kid did that, not like a teacher. I like, I, okay. At like lunch, did you guys have people that were like, like lunch, like, like guards? I don't know. They'd like just stand around the lunch table and watch. I feel like you, like, they they were so chill like they did not care about anything you know what i'm saying um what are they called i don't know what their job is called okay um i broke my ankle a few months ago and when i thought it was finally healed i tripped over my brother's shoe walking down the stairs and broke it again while there was a party being thrown at my house There's a lot of crying happening in these stories. Yeah. Um, okay, next story. Next! So I was in a public restroom, restroom, bathroom. So I was in a public, so I was in a public bathroom and I locked myself in a stall and an old, like really old couple came into the one next to me and started having some fun. At this point, I was laughing so hard, but then the lady got on the floor and said into my stall and and say into my stall and i just said oh i'm sorry i didn't mean to disturb you and from that day i have never gone into a public stall bathroom alone i'm in i'm still in the stall alone you're still in the stall wait but i'm still in the what are you saying that is that's bizarre i'm sorry you had to go through that Oh my, this one's long, okay. One time I went to the store with my dad and we were walking down, we were walking into the candy aisle, right? And I was reaching to grab the Haribo gummy bears and I fell down and went tumbling to the ground, but in the process I knocked into the shopping cart. When I hit the cart, the milk fall, fell out and spilled all over me. So I stood up holding my gummy bears, dripping milk. There was like four people in the aisle that saw. There's nothing like being covered in milk. And I'll leave it at that. Guys, why does no one trick on Halloween anymore? Why do all we do? Why? Why? Do, why do all we do is treat? Why do all we do is treat? You say trick or treat. Do you really want a trick? Because no one's going to do it. Have you guys ever gotten pranked on Halloween? I mean, I have a little bit, but, like, no one ever gives a trick. Like, I want to give a trick. Guys, make sure to check your Halloween can candy this year. Um, can you guys believe that someone in my chat literally sent that pickup line earlier? That was so... <laughs> that was so funny. And also, like... It was weird, but it boosted my confidence. Like, like... <laughs> I'm kidding. So once I saw this really cute guy on my cafe, on on a cafe. So my coffee. <laughs> not you being coffee. Uh, wanted to show my friends, and so I wanted to take a pic of him and not make it obvious. But my flash was on, and he was just staring at me, and I felt really embarrassed. I just wanted the floor to open up a, a swallow me. Do you guys remember those uh, prank videos in, like, when, when we were really young, okay? That maybe you don't remember this, but when they do elevator pranks, and they have people, like, like a, like a scary girl, like, go out in the elevator. Or, like, the, the floors would be, like, tiles. Or they'd be, like, TVs that looked like tiles, and the tiles would fall. I don't know why that just, like, reminded me of that, but, like... Oh my gosh. I literally remember that. I feel so bad for the people. No, those literally seem traumatizing. And also, like, they did not sign a waiver. Yeah, okay. 
when I was little, I got stuck in a bucket and it took me 20 minutes to get out while my parents were laughing at me. Your parents should have helped you. <laughs> um, I got slapped and then tried to slap them back and missed. I... I walked through a school fight. I probably told that story after it happened because I think it was within the past year. But I was literally like standing there and people were like fighting and I literally just, I was in the middle of the circle. I was like, why is everyone forming a circle around me? I was like, wow, word's really gotten around about this Twitch thing, hasn't it? Wow, my career's really taken off. I realized I was in the middle of a fight and then they literally used pepper spray. There was pepper spray in the air and in my in my eyeballs and my it was crazy that was a crazy i i really hope i'm not any of the vi in any of the, like the fight videos in the background actually that would be kind of cool i was in fourth grade and had to throw up so i ran to the trash and started throwing up then some kid had to throw up too and then threw up on my back why does everyone throw up in fourth grade <laughs> i ate a glue stick once and someone hit me with a football are those two two separate occasions um, one time in art class, we were doing our clay projects and my hands were soaked in clay and I got to wash my hand and I moved my hair out of my face, not knowing I just wiped clay all over my face and went the rest of the day without it on my face or with it on my face, not knowing I had someone fling like black ink onto, onto me. Hold on. Um, oh no, it's not in my room. I have the jacket that got flung black ink, and it was all over my face, and it, like, stained my face. Like, it was, like, little dots of, like, 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 drips of black, and it was on this jacket that I got gotten from Goodwill, and it was such a nice jacket. Oh, I'll never forget that person. One thing about me is I will hold a grudge. I was in a talent show in school and I was supposed to be singing a little mix song with three other girls, but they were all sick on the day I had to go up and the way we rehearsed it was that we each had a verse. So I stood there awkwardly for the entire song, but bopping around until the final verse, which was mine. Uh, no, I told you about that. How I used to perform. Do you want to build a snowman to my recess class? I also plagiarized in elementary school. I remember that. Okay. Basically what I did is I wanted to write a do you want to build a snowman, but from Elsa's perspective, right? And so I just Googled like, do you want to build a snowman Elsa's perspective? And then I told all my friends I wrote it. I like Googled it and like wrote it down on like onto the paper. And I like told all my friends I wrote it and then I think I got caught and they were like, we just found this video on YouTube with the same exact lyrics. And I was like, yeah, because I wrote that song for them and they all believed me. They all believed me. I lied. I lied my little butt off. Why are there cops again? Is everything okay? Um, no shot. They believed that they did. Also, I pretended like I was afraid of spoons and they believed that too. I just love some attention. Um, it's only Nick. Thank you so much for the resub. Do you support sleigh rights? Do you support sleigh rights? I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Yeah. Um, did you guys like, sp you guys lied about yourselves, right? In middle school. The cops are there since you admitted you plagiarized. <laughs> yeah, true. You have to do more research on that. Yeah, I don't know much about sleigh rights. I'll have to do some more research and look into it. But I'll let you know. Did you guys not like 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 telling people that you were like British or like that you were related to famous people? <laughs> um. Okay. When I was like eight, I stayed over in my friend's house, but kind of forgot I wasn't at home and subconsciously went over and started hugging her dad's arm forgetting it wasn't my own dad and didn't realize until her older sister started laughing at me um okay oh you said you were eight okay that's <laughs> okay if you were eight then that makes more sense that used to make make up facts about australia 
Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Um, did anyone else have a pick me phase? Because I know I did. I mean, I, I think I'm still in my pick me phase. That's my job on the, like, my job is to try to get the attention of people, like as many people as I can. Like my entire job, my entire occupation, my entire life is just trying to be a pick me the whole time. And that's like what content creators don't want you to know. They don't think, they don't, they want to act like they're just posting things, but no, they, they're, they're little pick me's. They all are. And I, and I am too, and I'll admit it. I told my friends I was from America. That's probably smart. I had a major Wattpad phase and spent all my favorite time, all my free time reading fanfics. I read a Disney fanfic where it was like, she worked as like a Rapunzel and like fell in love with like Peter Pan. Those were the only fanfics I wrote, I read. And then I wrote other ones where I'd like write myself into the Harry Potter series. Maybe I'll be able to find it. Wait, I could definitely find that. I could definitely find my old Wattpad stories. Um, I'll try to find that and we can do a stream, but I don't think it's enough. I didn't write that much Wattpad. Uh, I went to the zoo with friends and we went to the tortoise exhibit. The fence was like a, a short stone wall, maybe one to two feet tall. I sat on the wall to pet a tortoise and fell inside the exhibit on top of a cactus. That's crazy. You should have just become a, to a tortoise. <laughs> Someone in chat said sad. Okay. I mean, I, I guess if that's sad to you, then like that's chill. In my primary class, there was a cult of people who ate paper, and I went to one of their pri parties, and they started eating the paper tablecloth. I felt left out, so I ate a bit of my paper towel. There was a cult of, like, paper eaters. <laughs> Do they make, like, sacrifices to a shredder? You know what I'm saying? Like... Like that they like want to be a shredder so bad. They wish they could eat up a paper, eat up paper as much as that shredder did. I ate a piece of paper for twenty dollars once. I'd eat a piece of paper for if some like I would pay someone five dollars to eat a piece of paper. I used to make really cringe TikToks in sixth grade, and I had a lot of accounts for some reason, and. Every now and then when someone from my TikTok or from someone from my school will dig some old videos up and tag me in them. I can't delete any either because I don't have the logins. That is like an that is like an issue. Like not being able to delete account or like delete stuff on the account because you don't have a login. Like how is it how is it 2022 and we have uh I don't know, what's a technologically advanced thing? Um, I don't know the Star Wars ride. How do we have the Star Wars ride, but we can't delete accounts that we own? And that's the question that Elon Musk is investigating. Elon Musk. I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not diving into that today. I just am so glad he brought back comedy on Twitter. Because I was getting so bored of being unfunny. Elon Musk, more like Elon, but <laughs> that was, I got him with that. Um, at lunch with school, I went to the cafeteria, cafeteria. Okay. I had to get food. I forgot to take something with me that day. I don't exactly remember what I ordered, but when the lady gave it to me, I walked away to the, through the crowd, trying to find a table to sit at. Basically what happened is I tripped over somebody's foot and fell against someone who also fell over. And this caused it a domino effect with like seven people. Uh, in elementary school, kids would like take ketchup packets and roll them up. I, maybe I've talked about this before. I don't know. If I repeat myself, that's just what I'm going to do. And then they'd throw them on the floor so that when like people would walk by, they'd step on them and they'd explode everywhere. Or they'd, they'd put them underneath the toilet seat. So when you sit down on the toilet seat, it would like explode ketchup all over you. Don't do that, by the way. That's bad. Do you want to build a snowman? Wait, why was that good? I literally need to be Brendan Yuri. Dude, I do. Because, like, 
I saw the video of him like trying to sing into the unknown. I don't know why it's on the set list. But like I can do it. Are you out there? Do you feel me? Can you show me? Bestie don't say that. No, I like he needs replaced. And I think we share the same birthday. Into the unknown goes so hard. You know what's underrated? Show yourself. From Frozen 2, bawling my eyes out in the theater. That song deserves so much more hype than it got. Show yourself. Step into my power. Show yourself. Frozen 2 is better than Frozen 1? No, it literally is. It is 100% is. So much better. In year three, we were doing the register on Valentine's Day in the morning. I don't know what that means. We had to say something to the next person as a part of it. Like, I'd say, good morning, next person's name, and like, yeah. So the person in front of me in the register was kind of like, was kind of the class cl class cl class clown. So they said, will you marry me, my name? And I was so embarrassed. Anyway, uh, I was peak. I hate everyone anyone and everyone and i've not left that but that's besides the point he immediately started laughing after they did so i started crying because there was nobody that literal little eight-year-old me hated more for some reason so i cried like the entire day until i was sick and nobody stopped going on about it until i left year six now i think about it i'm gay so maybe that was why i reacted this much lmao i don't know what i just read i gotta be honest <laughs> um Wait, I was going to say something. Oh, I remember when I... Okay, when I was in fifth grade, uh, we were talking about how we thought the moon was created, and we had to, like, write an essay on how we thought the moon was created. And I stood up, and um, I stood up, and I was like, God made the moon. And I, like, had, like, a whole moment, like, for... I don't know. I don't know if they were filming, like, a, a new Christian blockbuster. Um, but I was about to be the star and I was like God made the moon He created it when he said he made the Sun moon and stars and the Bible says this and blah 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 and my fifth grade science teacher said um, Okay, you need to sit down. This is science class not church <laughs> Okay Rivy, thanks for the raid. Thank you. I <laughs> Why does your elbow look like that? Because I've fallen off my bike like a million times. Like, it's actually so bad. Hi, Rivi. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. How was your stream? In fifth grade, uh, my teacher would say that gay is a cuss word. When I was younger, I used to say C7AY instead of gay. Did anyone? I don't know if that's a real thing or if that was just me and my cousins, but that's, that's how I was taught to say it because it was a cuss word to me. Okay, look. C... Uh, a Y, right? It's called, we call it C7AY because look, if you go there and then you, let me add another text box. I'm going to demonstrate. Um, C7. Look, it makes a G. I mean, like in theory, not with this font, but like it makes a G, you know what I'm saying? And so we would say C7AY so that you like wouldn't have to say the word gay because we weren't allowed to. Do you get it? That's like, that needs to be code with gay people. Like, are you C7AY? And if they know, they know. And then if they don't, they don't. That would make things so much easier. Why haven't we developed like a secret code to ask people if they're, you know, like, I remember, okay, after Love, Simon came out, people would wear like a, a, a hoodie, a hoodie with a flannel over it. Like the, the outfit that Love Simon would wear um, just to like show that they were gay to other people. That was a big thing. But like, I mean, eventually it's going to get out. And with TikTok, like stuff just spreads like wildfire. TikTok combo will be like, OMG, he's deaf C7AY. Yeah. And he's like seven. <laughs> he's just seven. Uh, this is a long one. Get ready. Okay. So once I was trapped in a classroom and I, okay, I don't want to read a long one. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that. Um, a girl told me they liked me and I ran off because I didn't know what to do because I was 10. Okay. That's like chill though. 
you're chill for that. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna end stream because I'm gonna go work on some other stuff. And that's what's real. Um, I should have a Patreon out soon. I should have YouTube videos out sooner as well. Um, I know I say that every single week. I know I say that all the time, but I'm a perfectionist and I get like super anxious and I, I don't know, especially like after my streams. If like after my streams, I'll often just like be like, oh my gosh, what did I do? What did I do? Hope you guys have a great Halloween tomorrow. Should I go live on Halloween? I don't know if people, everyone's gonna be busy though, right? I don't know. I don't know. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Eminem. Eminem gave me 100 bits. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, hope you loved it. Blubbers, thank you so much for the resub. Just woke up. Oh, no. Just woke We're up ending. Guys, don't leave yet. We're going to raid. Uh, we're going to raid Luxy. Oh. There we go. Um... Hope you all have an amazing time over there. Thanks for being at this stream. I appreciate it. Bye, chat. Um, tweet me things if you want to. Thoughts, suggestions, comments, feedback, whatever you want. I'll read it. Um, I appreciate you being here. I hope you have an amazing Halloween tomorrow if you're celebrating it, if you're dressing up. If you're not doing anything tomorrow, that's totally chill. I'm not either. I'm just I'm just hanging out at my house. Um, yeah. Have a good night, you guys. Peace out. Blow you. Take care of yourselves. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye 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 bye. See you later. Bye 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 bye